slopes of the Himalayas, high altitude places in the southern and northeast of India. The characteristics of mountain forests change with altitude. With the increase in altitude, we see a decrease in temperature. Now, this decrease in temperature dictates the changes in vegetation along the slopes. This is the same order of gradation in vegetation that we see from the tropical to the tundra region. In tropical regions, you will find evergreen forests. As you move up to the temperate region, you find deciduous forests. In higher latitudes, you can find coniferous trees and temperate grasslands. And finally, as you move towards the poles, the vegetation is restricted to moss and lichens. A similar transformation of vegetation can be observed as we move from the base to the peak of mountains. Now why is this? The pattern of change in vegetation as we move to higher altitudes is similar to the pattern of change in vegetation as we move to the higher latitudes. Evergreen broadleaf trees like oaks and chestnuts grow between the heights of 1000 and 2000 meters. As you scale the mountain between the heights of 1500 meters to 3000 meters, you can find coniferous trees like pine, deodar, silver fir, spruce and cedar. Now these forests are also known as wet temperate forests. These coniferous trees are shaped like cones. This allows the snow to slide off easily from the top of the tree. They also have needle-like leaves which can withstand colder temperatures. If these trees had wider leaves, they would lose their moisture and freeze. At altitudes of more than 3,600 meters above sea level, these grasslands give way to alpine vegetation. Silver fir, junipers, pines and birches are the common trees found here. They get progressively stunted as they move towards the snow line. Now the snow line separates snow covered areas from areas that are not covered in snow. Gradually, these alpine forests turn into grasslands. These grasslands are used by nomadic tribes like the Gujars and the Bakarwals for grazing. Finally, at really high altitudes, the plants reduce to a tundra vegetation of mosses and lichens. This is because temperatures are really low at high altitudes and it can't support plant life. These mountain forests are filled with a variety of wildlife like the Kashmir stag, spotted deer, wild ox, jackrabbit, Tibetan antelope, yak, snow leopard, squirrels, shaggy horned wild ibex, Bears, sheep, goats, red panda, and baral. All of these animals have thick fur.
fur to keep them warm. Well, we've covered the mountains. Let's move on to a special kind of forest that are seen near some coastal regions. <laughs>